hi everyone welcome back to the new video today we'll be talking about this paper which is looking into the application of large language models in the space of recommendation systems so i'll be starting over this paper first and touching upon certain figures that they have and then we'll delve into another paper which is llama rec which is from nvidia and university of illinois so let's kick off our discussion with this one first so this paper has done a survey across papers till July to August of 2023. So they have roughly divided the application of language models and recommendations into three modeling paradigms. One of which is LLM embeddings plus RS. Second is LLM tokens plus RS. Third is LLM as RS. So let's see to all of them through a diagram that they have with an example. So the first one was LLM embeddings plus RS. So here if you see the idea is so you have a user you have an item you want to see if the user is supposed to like this item or not or should i be recommending this item to this user or not or if a user is going to click on this item or not any form of recommendation you can think of right but all of that starts from having a user representation and an item representation now this representation could be what this could be as simple as making a user profile where you have his id name age location what kind of a member he is what are his reading preference and so on and so forth you can think of adding another layer of information over here so this looks like we are trying to recommend a book or a novel so the item also has its own description with id title genre rating description and now the idea is if this book or this novel should be recommended to this user or not so you flatten all of this out concatenate it and pass it to your input to your LM. and at the output you'll be getting a consolidated embedding which you then use and pass it to a forward neural network that eventually does a classification or regression depending on the recommendation that you formulated your task into and let's say it said dislike or like in this case so that's the output you should be expecting. So that's a sweet, simple strategy where you are utilizing your LLM embeddings and you are having your recommendation system on top of the embeddings or the concepts that encapsulates both user and item profile. And you use that representation to get to the final answer. The second one is LLM tokens plus RS, where again, the idea is like you'll have two components. One is to get the feature extracted out of the large language models. Second is having a recommendation system that will get to you the final answer, what you're expecting. So the difference between the first and the second is that instead of picking up the consolidated embeddings, as the final output from your LLM, instead you are generating discrete tokens as an output from your LLM, which goes as an input to your recommendation system. So if you see through this example, so you have an item profile, you have a user profile, you pass all of this to the LLM that generates or kind of summarizes the preference and the user profile in a certain way. It says the user is not interested in thriller series because possibly reading preferences was something and the description was something else so the way you would write a prompt in this case is i'll give you a user and item profile and your task is to match both of them at a preference and description level and see if current book will be preferred by this author or not so that way it kind of returned an answer describing no that's not the case so now this is the statement that goes to your recommendation system and it, it then tries to get that to a classification score between like dislike or maybe category and here it says it's a dislike so that's the second method which is llm tokens plus rs so the third one is using llms as recommendation systems so in both of the above we were using LLM to get the representation either in the form of embedding or discrete tokens and then eventually using a neural network to get to the final answer. Whereas in this case, we are using the entire LLM to get to the final answer. There is no second stage involved, which was the case with the first two approaches. So here you create a prompt format and you follow it for any recommendation that you would want. So for example, for the same task, you have a task instruction where you give a role to your LM saying you are a recommender and based on the user and behavior profiles recommending whether a suitable book that she would like output the title of the recommended book so you are expecting the title of the book that the LM should give out you give the user prompt that summarizes the user profile item prompt that summarizes candidates from which the LLM has to get to the final answer of the title that the user is going to like and then you have the output key which is auto filled by the system so this is the third way of how you can 
use lm as a recommendation system but again there are a lot of problems in this for example you have a fixed context length which you cannot go beyond so how how much of the candidates would you want to put in the item prompt is one choice how are these candidates getting generated that's the second question is giving the title rating and description enough for the item and also whatever is written right now in the user prompt is that enough or do you want to give his historical preferences as well that's the third question and so on and so forth if you start implementing it you'll realize like it's not scalable it's taking a lot of time because it is essentially decoding word by word to the title that you would want maybe sometimes the title goes wrong it just returns the three body then how do you remap it to the original title of the book that's again one question to answer and one more could be let's say if you want a ranked order of your candidates rather than the final verdict of you want to say okay this is the best then followed by this is the second best and so on and so forth then how are you going to do all of that in this setting so those are certain questions that clearly need to be answered so we'll try to answer some of them in the next paper that we see in today's video which was llama rec and the things that it tries to answer is around uh, creating a ranked list of the candidates for example c1 should be greater than c2 should be greater than c3 in terms of how you are showing your candidates to the user and how it's avoiding the decoding problem of creating one word at a time cool so let's see what else do they have Okay, so they put in a detailed explanation of different training manners for LM based recommendation systems. So you have like fine tuning, in context learning, prompt tuning, instruction tuning. I mean, all of these are pretty much known to everyone, I guess. So, so for fine tuning for any tasks that you have fixed, let's say if the user is going to click a like button on this book or not, you create a data set in that format. You have your user profile, item profile, and like or dislike, followed by and all of this prepended by an instruction. Train your llama on this or any LM on this, and eventually it'll learn to make such prediction. And similarly, for in context, in case you're not willing to fine tune or data creation process is a bit difficult, so you can just go about doing prompt engineering or in context learning where you give a few examples in terms of model to understand how it is supposed to react for this task. Then prompt tuning so instead of making in a hard prompts in terms of you engineering each word every time you can have an embedding layer that gets infused in the weights of llm and based on the output that it generates these embedding gets updated but the so the pro of this technique is that it will take a burden from you in terms of you engineering prompt and get to the most optimal prompt that is possible but the downside is you'll never know what that prompt looks like because that will be in the form of embedding and you'll you'll not really do a method to reverse map it to discrete token that you would read right so changing anything is not possible so to say and also it would require a lot of data in terms of training this separately so those are its little pros and cons and the final one is instruction tuning wherein you follow the same thing which is what you did for the fine tuning it's just that you have different instructions for different tasks so you are training one model that understands a lot of tasks and then once the model is freezed or any similar task you can just prompt the answer out by giving in a relevant instruction and you can expect this model to generalize for an unseen task so that's the idea of instruction fine tuning cool so then they have explained each of them what i just said in little detail by giving the references from other papers so pretty much that's what this paper holds and i think this was necessary so let's move on to the next one which is llama rec